What's up everyone and welcome to my channel and well <laughs> yeah, boy. So ngayon, hey, what katropa, tatalakayin natin ang limang famous favorite poem about Emily Dickinson. Are you ready? Ready? Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> ipusa na. <laughs> wow! So, uh, trivia. Poem started in 20th to 13th century. First poet, Eduala. So, Emily Dickinson. Say, Emily Dickinson kay was born in December 10, 1830 from Massachusetts. Uh, these five poems I will be choosing. This will be the first poem about her and you will need to tackle each one by one to have interpretation and so, interpretation. First, success counted sweetest. This poem is all about the uh, the soldiers who have been fallen apart. And this poem also can. Okay. Emily Dickinson is very hard welming to the success of each one. So interpretation natin ito is si Emily Dickinson while she wrote this poem. Uh, it's it based on the World War Two. Parang ganun. Two. Parang ganun. So, example, so mga soldiers na nag fall, even they fell or victory, victory, they need. Para mga soldiers, victory, they will celebrate. While mga failure na soldiers, they will also celebrate their failure and misery. Next, if you can stop one heart from baking, this poem is from also from Emily Dickinson, and this was about the story of a God, a person that was breaking apart, painful very much. And interpretation ko to sa poem na ito is about yung tao na na nasaktan. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. When you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Dahil sa isang pangyayari na gaya ng mga taong nandito. Pakita kayo. <laughs> so, parang ganun. Uwang. Kagaya to. Kaibigan ko. Oh, palino kami. February 14. Single. Okay. So, oh, ito pala ang poem. This poem is interpretation. is all about a person is being heartbroken and never pang kinang nasaktan. From the one that got away. Third is much madness is divine. Nani? Omae wa mou shinde iru. Much madness is divine. Ah, much madness is divine sin. So this third poem about Emil Dickinson is all about that the society that has a very, uh, very greedy and that's a society that has a misconduction like that mga para mga tao ay nag iba-iba na para kay kaya ang mga ibang tao na nag-galit sa kanila and like that so, pangapat 
nobody nobody who are you so this po in this point is very complicated to to tackle and to interpret because it's more about on interpretation the about line by line but hindi ko gawin yung line by line napakahirap what what the f so in this poem it's all about lang the a person that was more secretive and never na mo share sa kanya mga kakilala parang agent secret secret lang Are you sure about that? And lastly, hope oh, is the thing with the feathers. This poem is my favorite poem. It's the motherfucking Eagle Double G. Snoop because it's tackled about ho hopes. Kahit may mga problema na dadating sa ating buhay, there's always a hope after a problem. Parang... Parang... Parang ulan lang. There's a rainbow after in it. So, sa poem ni Emily Kansu, sa last poem na Hope Within the Faders is about uh, hoping someone na there's a, a problem then yun ito, kuha lang. Trust each other then hope na maka, kuha mo sana yung problems. And that's why we're here. We're in our topic. So, if you... If you like this video or you are don't like this video, please react in the comment section. Like, subscribe, comment, share, post another. That's why. Right. Bye bye.